I told him that uh, we have a little, little uh, we made a little, a, a little, what can you say, um, call it agreement, call it an agreement, um, that he wasn't going to block me in practice uh, for the whole year. So today he almost did. Uh, we joked about it. Uh, you know, I, great kid, man, great kid. And I think we, once again, just going back um, to it, we have the right pieces. And, uh, not en uh, not enough people are talking about the other pieces that we have. They're focusing on a lot on you know cold me, trend, you know, the people coming back, but uh, you know, the freshmen are definitely gonna make noise. So Coleman that didn't really get to do it last year is gonna make a lot of noise too. He's, he's gonna be one of the key players. Hutch, you know, ha hasn't had the time to uh, play the a single minute, but he's ready, he's just a killer, he's cold. Um, so I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm excited uh, for the team. I think we're really, really good. What assumption is you're going to be the primary ball handler this year? Just talk about the improvement you've made taking care of the basketball, you know, from the start of last year uh, to where you're at now. I think um, that, that just comes from the showing on the court. Um, and and I, as, as the game go by, um, I think I'm going to do that. Um, and I, I learned a lot from last year. Uh, I think as a freshman, I definitely try to do things that you know we're common for a freshman um, so a lot of it I, I i can live with it a lot of my mistakes i live with them i get mad at myself because that's the way i play so i always want to be good when i do it um, but when i when i make those mistakes i, I got to live with them um, and just think about the next play because if i dwell on the on the play before um, i know my next one is going to be good so um, taking care of the ball is going to be important. Um, I think I, I've done a great job, um, and collectively we, we got to do a better job in practice. Obviously, they won today, um, but I'm sure we, we're going to improve um, on that end. Andre, coach made mention of you taking the next step, not only as a player, but also as a leader in the locker room. What makes you feel like you're ready to do both of those things? Um, I, I think I've, I've always been a leader. Um, I think it, it's not going to be nothing new to me. Um, I think even last year, um, as a freshman, I wasn't like the, the, the main leader, uh, but like I always had that leadership, um, you know, carrying it on my shoulders because like I said, like as a point guard, you, you always got to be a leader no matter what, on and off the court, on the bench, in the locker room. So um, definitely I'm ready to embrace that this year. Um, but like I said, I don't think it, it would be much of a surprise for me just because I, I've been doing it for a while now. Um, and uh, I'm just excited. I'm excited because I, I care about my players. I always want them to uh, be successful. So um, I'm definitely excited to embrace that role. Um, toon, bed, toon squad headband, toon squad shoes. Any, any reason for that correlation um, there? It's just, just something different. Um, I, I, I really I take a lot of pride on that. Um, you know, the shoe game is important. Uh, people may say it's corny or whatever, but look good, play good. Um, and, and, and I, I, you know, nice shoes. I always want to be different, and um, I always try to be unique. So. And my last question for you is: Some people here have given you the nickname El Mago, and you got to go to Wrigley Field for a game. And of course, the Cubs had a player nicknamed El Mago to Puerto Rican as well. Um, did you get to meet? Uh, Javier Baez, or are you a fan of his? Um, I am a fan of him, and um, I couldn't. COVID rules were, were um, I'm sure they still a thing, um, so I couldn't. But I'm definitely a big fan of him. I think um, I, 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 you know, I play basketball. He plays baseball, but I think the the things that he does um, on the field, I, I do it on the court. So I definitely um, um, I relate to him a lot. And, and you know, people calling me El Mago is, is obviously great, um, but that's that's his. And but if people want to call me it, uh, I'm gonna embrace him because I mean, like I said, I'm, I relate to him a lot, and, and I know that I, I can I can see why people are saying it. So I'm definitely you know very thankful for that. I appreciate you know very appreciated from the, from, from the people, and um, you know I'm I'm just I'm excited to to be people calling me that just gives me a little boost. Um, to continue to be who I am on the court. And so if El Mago is his, if you had to pick one for you, what would your nickname be? Uh, I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let that, um, <laughs> I'm gonna let that, you know, decide, I'm gonna let the people decide. Um, I don't really have a nickname like that, like on the court. People want to keep El Mago, I, I love it, I like it. Um, you know, why, why not have El Mago on the field and Mago on the court? Awesome, thank you, Andre. Obviously, obviously with Io gone, you're gonna carry a little bit more of the uh, offensive load this season. Uh, what was kind of the biggest change you made to your game in the offseason that people and the Illini faithful are going to see come the season over? I think just a, a little bit of everything. Um, I think I, I, I took a, a lot of pride on um, you know working on, on my game uh, this offseason. It was the, the best I felt um, in a long time. And, and
and that's just what um, that you know in, in high school you you can get a little bored or you know things can get a little old, but here like things just get harder and harder. And now you know going hopefully to the next level, things are not gonna get easier. Just like life, like you know you keep at getting older and life is just gonna get harder. So. Uh, I'm excited for that. I think I, I put a lot of work in, into my game um, on everything. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I, I've worked on something specific because uh, I have I, I've worked on everything. Um, but I'm excited to to show what I've worked on, and uh, you know I'm not once again not gonna sit here and get, give all the details out. But um, you know you guys you guys you guys are gonna see something different for sure, and, and you know I, I'm excited to show it. You know you can shoot the ball, but last year maybe you weren't as successful shooting from the distance as you have been in the past. And so, how do you translate that? And you know you do it in practice. How do you translate that into a game now? Uh, well, it, just confident. And uh, I, I, I was speaking about it earlier. It, it, it was a matter of just getting getting that confidence, that consistency on the shot. Um, I think. Um, throughout the course of the game, you may get sped up a little bit, and you may jump on the shot more than you did before. So it was just a matter of getting getting that shot consistent, that the mechanics consistent. And, and once again, I, I, I've, I've paid a lot of attention to that um, during practice. So I, I'm excited to put that on the court and just keep you know repping it out in practice. How was Chester Frazier being here, former point guard? How has he helped you uh, grow this year? Man, great, great. He brings a lot of energy that other coaches um, don't bring just because like that's not who they are. Um, but him being young and, and um, you know a guy that played the game um, and played here and know what, what the, the Illini uh, family is all about. Um, it's definitely a plus um, to have somebody like that because he, he's going to push you on and off the court. And um, during the drills, he, he'll leave it, you know, he'll get up on your stuff and, and he'll push you. So um, definitely a plus and I'm excited to have him. He probably wants to get in there and play defense a oh, lot, doesn't he? Uh, well, he does. He definitely <laughs> does because sometimes um, we could be a little, you know, relaxing in, in, in that end on the floor and uh, he may lose it or, you know, he already had enough and he, like, he, like you can tell, like, uh, like, Watching his face, like he wants to be a part of it because he's he's still you know <laughs> that he has that blood running um on his body. But he can't guard you, really, can he? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thanks, Philip.